What's up YouTube, Dale Hems of Games, and as you can see, finally, we got Elemental Hero Strikes back, and we also got Evil Swarm Exoton Knight back as well. So, what better way to get this kicking than be bringing you an updated Elemental Hero deck profile. Now, there's also, um, because we've got card destruction back, there is a degenerate um, kind of like tricks to reincarnation play where you play, if you've got Dark Law in play, you play card destruction, your opponent gets all their entire hand banished. Absolutely busted. I haven't got that in here. Uh, I haven't got the card destruction in here because it's very, very more specific with the heroes because you actually, if your hand is either empty or you have to have like kind of a card that you want sent to grave, now obviously Shadow Mist will go off if it's sent to grave um, off of card destruction. Um, you've just got to be very, very careful on, on when you play it. So I don't think it's as effective in this deck. I do have an updated Dangers Dark World deck for you guys to show off. And again, that uses and abuses card destruction a hell of a lot more because they'll plus from that as well. They can, in the little spicy tech that I did, we do play Dark Law. That then gives you spicy touches because you play Dark Law in your dangers and then you go and activate card destruction. Not only will you get the pluses or for your discard effects, you're also banishing your opponent's entire hand and then ripping another one. Anyway, I've babbled on long enough. Let's show you this updated Elemental Hero deck profile with Stratos and, of course, um, Destiny Hero Disc Commander as well. Just saying. Okay, so we've got Triple Elemental Hero Shadow Mist, um, obviously main playmaker and troublemaker of the deck. Very, very important to get you your quick place um, change, quick place spells. So this can search you out your free mask changes in the deck. We've then got Triple Elemental Hero Solid Soldier. Um, so obviously Solid Soldier is very, very important because it is your Goblin Berg of the deck as a hero. Um, and it is an Earth attribute, so when it's sent from the monster zone to the graveyard by spell effect, you take one hero monster in your graveyard, accept itself and special summon it in defense position. Only use the effect once per turn. So let's say, for example, you activate, um, you open up, I don't know, two, let's say two mass changes. I don't know why that'd be crazy. Um, but let's say you can keep these, keep, put Elemental Shadow Mist in the graveyard. You've got um, Solid Soldier Man on board. Turn this into Dian. Um, this will then revive your Shadow Mist. Shadow Mist will then search you out another quick play spell ready for the next turn. We've got Triple Destiny Hero Malicious um, because this combos off nicely with Vision Hero Vion uh, and obviously you can push your plays further forward with that way. Um, I believe Vion can send Destiny Hero um, Malicious to the graveyard. I could be wrong because it does state but um, I'm pretty sure that's how Vion works. I haven't played Heroes for a long, long time. Um, so you banish one hero monster in your graveyard and add a poly from your deck. Don't really worry about the second effect. It's more so when it's normal special, you send a hero. So you can also send Shadow Mist and get the effect off that way as well. Entirely up to you on how you want to play it um, and move it that way. Then, of course, we've got the one Mac Daddy Elemental Hero Stratos. Obviously, this is your searcher. When it's normal or special summoned, you select and activate one of these effects. Destroy spell and traps on the field up to the number of Elemental Hero and Destiny Hero monsters you control, not including this card. Select and add one Elemental Hero or Destiny Hero monster from your deck to your hand. So you get to search out your Disc Commander, or of course, you'll search out your, either of these Element Savers that you need. As uh, <laughs> Element Savers? Element Heroes. And then lastly, we've got Destiny Hero Disc Commander. Now, this is at free. It has come off the ban list. I'm only playing it at one. Now, the reason I'm playing it at one is because it is a nice as old target. We do want to try and revive it. Now, it's new errata. This is what you've got to keep in mind. Is it's only once per duel, and it can't be special. It'll only get the draw two effect when it's special summon. Uh, it can't be special summon the turn it's sent. So, for example, if we go Vion, send it to the graveyard, or if we go um, Isolde into Disc Commander, turn Disc Commander into um, Dark Claw. We then need to have one of our traps that we're playing to bring this guy back to then get the draw effect. So obviously that's very, very useful because the draw effect can get you into hand traps or something that can disrupt your opponent. So you've got to be very, very careful when you use it. One, I think, is more than enough. I think three is way too cloggy. We've then got triple ash blossoms, double ghost ogre, and double droll. This can be any kind of ratio of hand traps you wish. Um, same rules as apply. They're always in different sleeves because um, I like to keep mine uh, hand traps in ultimate guard um, eclipse sleeves. Uh, because that's what I use my main decks for anyway. Next up for the spells, we've got Triple E Emergency Call, busted search card for the deck, just add an elemental hero monster from your deck to your hand. So you now have six versions of either Shadow Mist, uh, four versions of Stratos, six versions of um, Solid Man as well. So it's very, very cool. It's specific because it's elemental hero, so you can't get your Vion, but it still gives you Stratos, Shadow Mist, or Solid Soldier, and obviously Solid Soldier is the one you're going to be going for most. Triple mask change. Um, we can actually climb up. We've got two Dark Lords in the extra deck and two other elemental heroes or masked heroes. So triple mask change is more than like is perfect. Double scapegoat because it is now at two, but it's still very very helpful in this deck uh, and can very very uh, help you out sticky situations. 
Two called by the grave because you don't want to get hand trapped and it is now at two. Two, Pot of Desires. You play loads of things at play sets, so Desires isn't the end of the world. I would say only use it once you've got the combo pieces in hand and then push your plays further forward that way. Foolish Burial for your Malicious as well as either your Shadow Mist or anything else you might want to get to the grave. The one, a hero lives because it was an incredibly busted card. Um, obviously, you can get your strat straight out of from deck without using your normal summon. So one, you know, it, it still needs to be played, but one is kind of understandable in that sense. We've got the one equip spell of the Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. Obviously, you want to loop that around um, with your extra deck as well. Um, and then obviously send it off of your Zold and move your place further forward that way. You've then got the one reinforcement of the army and triple back to the front. Now the back to the front uh, triggers Shadow Mist to get you another Mars Change. It can also trigger this commander, which gives you that plus two draws. And like I said, those plus two can either be extension for your next turn or of course can be hand traps to disrupt your opponent as they are right there. Um, so that can be very, very useful and very, very powerful once used correctly. Uh, now moving on to the extra deck. Uh, you've got to keep in mind with the extra deck, um, the kind of angle you want to go with. So we'll start with the extra Z's. We've got, of course, the one um, Evil Swarm Exxon Knight just to nuke the board, restart and reset the playing, uh, playing states, um, hopefully in your favor once you've played this card. So it's brought back, why not play it while you can? Uh, the one Tornado Dragon, deal with any troublesome back row that you wish. The one Abyss Dweller, um, dealing with the Gokis and any graveyard effects such like Danger Dark World, if that's going to become more of a prominent thing as well. Then of course we've got our double Masked Hero Dark Law, our single Masked Hero Anki, and one Masked Hero Dian. Now obviously Dian special summons once it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, um, it's... Um, and send it to Graveyard, you special on one level 4 or lower hero monster from your deck. 3k defender, 2800 beta. Um, Anki is your attack di um, directly to kind of do additional damage and can come off of um, Shadow Mist and Dark Law. And obviously Dark Law needs no explaining, he's an incredibly boss monster. Uh, we've then got the one Link Karibo to come off of um, your scapegoats. Uh, we've also got Wee Witch Apprentice, which again can be used to link up some of your monsters to free up some spaces to allow you to have a Dian play and maybe even a Dark Lord play. Um, you don't have to play her. If you don't want to play her, the other option, um, which I couldn't find, which is why he's not in here right now, is um, Firewall. I'd definitely say put Firewall in here because you can loop. If you get Firewall on board, um, you can do your Marsh Change, go into a Marsh Change monster, um, ditch the Phoenix Blade Sword, Special summon out another Masked Hero. Masked Hero does its effects, link away, start moving your board further forward, and then start looping Firewall's effect, because Firewall is incredibly busted. Um, I'm trying to figure out where my Firewall has gone. I do have one, it's floating around somewhere, but I couldn't find it, but definitely Firewall can easily be that one there. We've then got the one Phoenix to deal with every, any troublesome back row. It is an incredibly powerful card. I think it's one of the most staple Link 2 monsters, in my opinion. Uh, the one is Zold, because of the Zold, you send the Phoenix Blade to the graveyard, especially on your Disc Commander. Unicorn, um, if you do get a Co-Link, you're getting more draws during your standby phase. But on top of that as well, you want the discard and spin, which can sometimes be more valuable than anything else. One Deco Talker, the one Borrow Load, and the one Borrow Sword. Now, obviously, Borrow Sword is incredibly powerful because you attack with Mask Hero, Dark Law, um, switch it to defense with Borrow Sword, and then Borrow Sword gets to slam into your opponent again one more time. Um, like I said, definitely have Firewall in this deck. Um, I just couldn't find my one. Um, take it out for Wee Witch if you want, or if you haven't got a Firewall, or you haven't got a Borrow Sword um, because it is quite costly, um, then you can play it whichever way you wish. Um, but that is it for the deck profile. Very straightforward, very simple, and very um, to the point. Uh, it's nice to get Stratos back finally, um, but it's also nice to see heroes hopefully getting more support in the future and hopefully being more prominent. Now, one card I haven't got in there is the elemental hero, um, is it Shining Neos? The kind of like honest hand trap. Now, of course, you can put that in there if you wanted to. You could take down your hand traps a little bit more. That might give you um, more plays off your disc commander play with your back to the front. Or, of course, you can slam down some of the ratios. You don't have to play Malicious. I just think it's such an incredibly powerful card to kind of um, banish this out. Move your plays further forward. Go into, for example, let's go, you say you send Malicious and you've got a Shadow Mist or a Vion. Um, you link the Vion and the um, Malicious go into um, Wee Witch, if you're playing the Wee Witch. Um, that then gives a boost to all your Dark Monsters. You then banish Malicious, bring Malicious back. Uh, and you can start link, uh, um, link laddering or ladder linking. 
linking up basically uh, and then of course you're doing all that plays while you're getting like a quick play spell in place you then have a dark lord with a link monster rather than just sitting on one of the fusions anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share till next time guys as always happy dueling what's up youtube thanks for watching that video i hope you liked it if you did hit that like button and of course don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything we've got more deck profiles duels pack openings and many more Yu-Gi-Oh videos coming up for you all year round so don't forget to stay tuned for all of that thanks and as always guys happy dueling